Once upon a time, in a small village nestled at the foot of a mighty mountain, there lived a humble and kind-hearted farmer named Jacob. Jacob was known throughout the village for his generosity and willingness to help others in need, no matter the cost. Despite having very little himself, he always found a way to share what he had with those less fortunate. Part 1. One day, a terrible storm hit the village, destroying many homes and leaving families without food or shelter. Jacob knew he had to do something to help. Without hesitation, he opened up his barn to those in need, providing them with a warm place to stay and food to eat. Despite the hardships he faced himself, Jacob never once thought twice about helping others. Part 2. As the days passed, word of Jacob's generosity spread far and wide. People from neighboring villages came to see the man who had given so much without expecting anything in return. They were amazed by his selflessness and inspired by his example. Jacob's actions showed them the true meaning of generosity, that it is not about how much you have, but about how much you are willing to give. Part 3. One day, a wealthy merchant passing through the village heard about Jacob and his acts of kindness. Intrigued, he decided to pay the farmer a visit. When he arrived at Jacob's humble abode, he was taken aback by the simplicity of his surroundings. How could a man who had so little, you know, be so willing to give to others? Part 4. The merchant struck up a conversation with Jacob, wanting to understand what drove him to be so generous. Jacob simply smiled and replied, I have learned that true wealth is not measured in gold or possessions, but in the love and kindness we share with others. I may not have much, but I have a heart full of generosity. Part 5. The merchant was deeply moved by Jacob's words. He realized that despite his own wealth, he had never truly experienced the joy that comes from giving selflessly. Inspired by Jacob's example, the merchant decided to follow in his footsteps and use his riches to help those in need. He learned that generosity is not about the amount you give, but the intention behind it. Years passed, and Jacob continued to live a life of generosity and kindness. His actions had inspired countless others to do the same, creating a ripple effect of compassion and goodwill throughout the land. People from far and wide came to learn from the wise farmer who had taught them the true meaning of generosity. One day, as Jacob sat by the fire in his old age, Reflecting on a life well lived, the merchant returned to the village to visit him. He thanked Jacob for showing him the way to true happiness and fulfillment. The merchant had found that the more he gave, the more he received in return, not in material wealth, but in the richness of his soul. So part 8. In his final days, Jacob shared one last piece of wisdom with the merchant and all those gathered around him. He said, Generosity is not just about giving what you have. It is about giving what you are. When you give with a pure heart and open mind, you will receive the greatest gift of all, a life filled with love, purpose, and fulfillment. Part 9 And so the story of Jacob the generous farmer lived on in the hearts of those he had touched. His legacy of kindness and selflessness continued to inspire generations to come, reminding them that true wealth lies not in what we possess, but in how we choose to share it with others. Jacob had shown them that the path to a truly fulfilling life is paved with acts of generosity and love. 